Well, thank you. I, I want to keep things in perspective. You know, like I've been saying to people, silver is still 50% its all time high of 50 bucks, it's 25 bucks. But the question is if a can of tuna hits 25 bucks, what does silver go to? And that's what I'm concerned about. And I'm very, I'm very, I'm, and every year, every time you talk to me, Danielle, I wish I had better news, but it gets worse. It just gets worse. And on that note, you know, I don't know how many times I've interviewed you now, countless over, you know, the span of 10 years. And I don't think I've ever seen you so concerned, so vocal. Uh, you know, I've been reading all your latest tweets. Will Smith slaps Chris Rock at the Oscars. Biden slaps Putin on the world stage. It's toxic masculinity. The world is in trouble. The national debt is going to go through the roof. Biden is causing inflation and blaming Putin. Dollars about to implode. I want to talk about that with you. So you're saying buy more gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana before this World War III. Okay, so there's a lot of thoughts there. So let's start with the dollar that you say is on the verge of imploding. How far are we from that? And what will be the catalyst, the major catalyst? There's a lot, but what, what is it for you? Well, this is a guy, Jordan Peterson. He's a Canadian. And he talks about, he says, you think tough men are dangerous. And Trump was a tough man. But he says, watch what weak men will do. And this guy, Biden, is the worst I have ever seen. The man is senile. And today what's happening is Russia and China are now ganging up on the U.S. It's really a dangerous world right now. It's getting worse. So every time you interview me, when Trump was in power, I was a bit optimistic. But now we have the weakest, most corrupt government. You know, what happened to Hunter Biden's laptop? If the FBI loses his laptop, there's something really sick inside this country. And so that's kind of what I gauge all my macroeconomics on is, where is Hunter Biden's laptop? I mean, how can the FBI lose it? We have no financial education in our schools. So it, it, that's, that's what I'm concerned about. My biggest concern, Danielle, with Russia and China are ganging up on us. As we all know, America produces nothing anymore. We produce bubbles, you know, we just blow air bubbles. So we now have this bubble in real estate and stocks and bonds. And, and then when Biden took the Keystone pipeline, XL pipeline off the, just wiped us out here. Inflation goes up and the average American doesn't have a thousand bucks. 40% of Americans don't have a thousand bucks. And so when inflation goes up, we're going to wipe out 50% of the U.S. population. And that is when revolution starts. And, and so if and when, and it will come down, the stock market crashes, the 401k, the old guys like me are toast. You know, we don't have a retirement. Our pensions are bust. So what we have with three things is our treasury is out of control. We've lost it. Our entitlements out of our control. And now we're at war in the Defense Department. So our debt to GDP is out. So every time I talk to Danielle, I said, I wish I could have some good news. So that's why I did the tuna can to a yeah. silver eagle comparison. We're in trouble. Yeah, and that really does help put things in perspective. And, uh, you know, yeah. you're an advocate of protecting yourself. We've spoken about this in the past, about gold, silver. You like Bitcoin, you like Ethereum. A new one that you've added is Solana. Now, I know that there's some people advocating that Solana is the next Bitcoin. But why did you add this now? Uh, why do you like it? As we all know, there's insiders to every deal. I don't have any stocks. You know, I don't invest in the stock market. But they're my companies on the stock market. So the best deals are always done early. So when people say, do you invest in Bitcoin? Uh, yes, when it was $6,000. So Solana is still early and it's got a possibility. It's a long shot. It's the same as a can of tuna. <laughs> a can of tuna may be worth more than Solana. We've got to know what's real today. And that's why I'm saying we have the weak leadership in world history. America's in serious trouble. So I want to find out what's real and China and Russia are now ganging up on us. We went to Venezuela and Iran to buy oil from them. And this guy Biden cuts off our oil supply. Would you add other cryptos to your portfolio? Would you be looking at? Not, not really. I'd, I'd rather add a can of tuna right now. <laughs> so you want to limit I, it. So you're good with Bitcoin, Ethereum and now Solana. 
Yeah, but no, actually, I went to a can of tuna because you can. I <laughs> know, <laughs> I'm, you know, Daniela, because you know, we, we everybody talks about intrinsic value. What is intrinsic value? I can eat tuna. That's valuable. And if you're starving, I'd rather have a can of tuna than Solana. Uh, well, and so, yeah. you, you know, all, all these years you've known me, I'm always kind of a, a Rodney Dangerfield of the financial circuit. I like yeah. to make fun of things because otherwise people can't hear you. They get too serious about this. So I'm just saying that we're in serious trouble. Serious, serious. And it's getting worse. That's, that's what terrifies me. Just just a little longer on cryptos here, because you've also uh, been vocal about the fact that the government uh, will come for crypto. You you talked about the regulation. So how how do you put that into perspective? Like you're, you're comfortable owning crypto, but you feel that regulation is coming. Yes. Well, that's if they go to the government crypto, the government Bitcoin or whatever they call it. Right. They'll Fred trace. Coin. Right. It's, it's big brother at that point. They're going to be knowing everything you're doing. So, Daniela, you know, for years, I've been buying those green canisters of silver coins because the government can't trace them. I can use them for money. So I can go anywhere in the world with a silver coin and spend it. I can go with a gold coin and spend it without being traced. Not that I'm hiding anything. I'm just sick and tired of this government. I don't trust them. As I said, if, if, if Hunter Biden's laptop disappears in FBI custody. We have a serious, serious, serious internal problem here. And so that's why I, I you know, tongue in cheek tweeted that I'd rather have a can of tuna right now than a silver coin just to get ridiculous, get ridiculous because I can eat tuna. I cannot eat that silver coin. <laughs> I can spend it. You were also warned about uh, the repo market inversion. Um... You know, our, our friend George Gammon uh, does a lot of work on that. And you said that last time this happened was in 08. So be right. careful. Recession and crash are coming. Weak businesses yeah. and greedy investors to fail. In 2008, you borrowed $300 million to buy great real estate at bargain prices. Time to get rich coming again. Time to get smart, not greedy. So there's always opportunity, right? Let's talk about opportunities. Let's, let's add some optimism here amongst all the negativity. Uh, you know, how can, we, how can we make money here? Well, always remember, America has stopped producing products. We produce bubbles. Now, the good thing about a bubble is when they burst, everything goes on sale. And so when things went in 2008, I waited till about 2010. I borrowed 300 million because debt is money, as you know, after 71. And I began buying real estate at bargain prices. So just recently, the repo market inverted again, which means we're going down. It means recessions ahead. But my concern is now revolution, because when people can't afford to eat tuna, we're going to have rioting. So it's a whole different type of bubble burst. When Biden took us off the pipeline, oil prices went up, oil produces fertilizer. And when fertilizer is no longer cheap, People can't produce food. And the average American has nothing. 40% of Americans have nothing. Inflation is going to make them very upset. A stock market crash will bring down the baby boomers. So we're in serious, serious trouble here. So I'm just being ridiculous in my tweets because it's better than listening to Biden that I'd rather have a can of tuna right now. That's what I'm saying is that at least I can eat it. Robert, when you, um, I'm going to send you a case of tuna, but before it hits 25 bucks, but um, when we talk about, when you talk about a revolution, do you see that happening like U.S. or global or what does that look like for you? Well, I'm a U.S. Marine. You know, I fought in Vietnam twice as a pilot. I've seen what happens when people, when the communists, what people can see in the Ukraine, communists always kill civilians. And that's what people don't realize. And as a Marine, they sent kids and women after us. So a lot of my friends who came back with PTSD, and you can see it in the Ukraine today, they're not hitting military, Russia's not hitting military targets. They're hitting civilian targets. And when you understand communism, and you know, this is my latest book here, it's called The Capitalist Manifesto, is I am a student of communism.
So this here is 165, I actually read this book here, 48 pages, one of the most influential books in world history. But nobody's read the book. They don't know what Marx said. But what Marx said, they had to have the poor get poor and the middle class come down. And that was the recipe for revolution. And I see Biden doing it when he took when he took the Keystone XL pipeline and took us off of it and oil prices went up. Now, the thing is, Danielle, I got richer because I produce oil. I don't invest in oil. I don't invest in Shell or Exxon and all that. I invest in oil wells. So when oil went from $30 a barrel to $130 a barrel, I got richer, but I also got more concern for my fellow human beings. They can't afford to live at $130 a gallon a barrel of oil. And so that's why on my tweets, I just get ridiculous about it. Hopefully somebody will listen. Yeah, I can eat tuna. Yeah, I, think, I think a lot of people are listening. I think, um, you know, and I've, I've spoken about this with, with other experts because we've been talking about this a long time. Yes. You know, and some people might say, oh, well, you know, Robert and those guys are crazy. But if you look at the situation in Ukraine, look what people have had to use now. Gold, silver, Bitcoin, whatever, crypto as a lifeline. Right. They couldn't they could no longer depend on the system. Correct. Uh, for access to liquidity. So what do you make about that? Is that, you know, when you see this? Well, I'm, I'm doing my best to explain to people. Watch. I'm a U.S. Marine. I went to the academies. When you see the Russians hitting civilian targets, it doesn't register in most people's minds because Americans haven't seen war. It's really sad. I mean, Danielle, our press, our school system, our academic system is so Marxist. That, that's why I love coming on your program, but it's going to the point of being ridiculous right now. So I tweet, I'd rather save tuna than save silver. Tuna. Um, you know? <laughs> so I guess just to like sum up here, Robert, I, I read something Jamie Dimon uh, recently said that he feels... Uh, there's three forces shaping the world uh, you know, that will shape the world over the next several decades. So uh, the U.S. economy uh, rebounding from, from COVID, high inflation that will usher an, an era of rising rates, and uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which will create a humanitarian crisis. So, you know, I, 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 I'm hearing from you all these three things, right, if, if, if I heard you correctly, will lead to this revolution. Do you agree? Well, that those that's, are three major threats. Read this book. That's what he said. This book was in 1848. And it says communism would come in two stages to America. First would be socialism. And that happened in 1930 when the Frankfurt School of Germany sent teachers to Columbia University Teachers College. And then in 1968, when I was in school in New York, at that's when the rioting in the college campuses began. They led to Kent State and Berkeley and Woodstock and all this. And then the second stage would take place, and in my opinion, it's in this humble opinion, in 2020 when they took down President Trump, that was the corruption of our media. That's communism. I hate to say that, but I am a U.S. Marine, two tours in Vietnam. And I've seen what, if you understand that communists kill their own people. Mao killed his own people. Stalin killed their own people. Americans try and stop that from happening. And then our own press, I mean, I came back from Vietnam in 73, I got spit on, hit by eggs, called a baby killer. And I'm still a little bit bitter about that, but it prepared me for today. Our school system should teach us about money. I guess just one final point, uh, because I know you've been tweeting a lot about China as well. Do you think it'll be interesting or how do you think the relationships will evolve here? I mean, now that Russia's been banished, the repercussions of the sanctions will be felt, you know, for, for years here. How will this play out geopolitically? Russia's relationship with China, China's relationship with the U.S., and we have Saudi Arabia. I mean, how does this play out for you? Do you see a major shift happening? It's the end of America. We have communists, in, you know, as a Marine, we would say inside the wire. They're inside our government. They're inside our school systems. They're inside Hollywood and they're inside Silicon Valley. And that's why I wrote this book here, The Capitalist Manifesto. I said, we've got to fight back. 
and we fight back with information and education, not weapons. I know you're, you're good friends with uh, President Trump. Do you think he'd, yes. he'd run again? And you know, that was the last time, Danielle, when you would interview me, I was optimistic. We had a strong man in office. And as Jordan Peterson says, you know, he says, if you think tough men are dangerous, just watch what weak men can do. And we're watching the weakest president, I think, in, in my time. I mean, Carter was pretty weak. But this guy, Biden, is corrupt. And Kamala, oh, my God. She's next in line and Pelosi's next in line. So God help me. That's Biden's best insurance policy he's got. Because you get, you get Kamala and you get you get uh, Nancy Pelosi as next in in office. Holy mackerel! You may as well just bring Che Guevara back to power.